A synthetic lethal interaction between two genes occurs when a single knockdown of either one does not affect cell viability, but knockdown of both synthetic lethal partners leads to loss of cell viability or cell death. Combining heterogeneous datasets can lead to the identification of synthetic lethal interactions that can be targeted by drug combinations in diseases such as cancer with the aim of halting cell proliferation. The concept of synthetic lethality is of interest for any disease in which cell proliferation is an issue. As for cancer, synthetic lethal gene interactions are already being targeted in BRCA mutated tumors by using PARP inhibitors. Efforts such as ours could expand the use of the concept for other gene interactions and cancer entities. In our laboratory, we have tested computationally predicted drug combinations targeting synthetic lethal interactions in the context of breast cancer. Begin by retrieving data from BioGrid. Use the web browser to download the latest BioGrid interaction file in tab 2 format. Filter the columns to only retain those relevant for subsequent analysis steps. Next, filter for synthetic lethality and negative genetic interactions. Use the information in the experimental system column to restrict the dataset to entries with a value of either negative genetic or synthetic lethality. Identify the species for which synthetic lethal interactions were reported by determining the number of synthetic lethal interaction partner tax IDs, which will provide an estimate on the number of these interactions available per organism. To retrieve human orthologs for relevant model organisms from Ensemble Biomart, select the respective model organism dataset